Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you step by step how to use this Excel spreadsheet for structural analysis. And to do so, I'm going to use an example to demonstrate how to input the data, analyze, and display the result. Please uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and to get uh, an active notification button so that you get notified about all my new videos. And uh, let's get started. I'm going to use this example to show how to input the data and analyze the, your frame. And to do so, step one is to uh, first input the join coordinate. The join coordinate. Uh, the join here are numbered in black. One, two, three, four, uh, five to nine. And uh, the start. We are going to start at point zero. So we assume that uh, the the node number one is at coordinate zero zero and uh, node number two and so on and, and we will proceed at node number two node number one as i said at node zero zero at uh, node of coordinate zero zero at node number two will be at x zero and uh, y eight is uh, the, the node number two i is the uh, from node number one to node number two is eight meters and we proceed node number three will be at x zero and eight and then uh, y coordinate will be 16 and we proceed at node number four y will, be, will stay 16 and x will be eight and then number five will be at coordinate x eight and y eight and node number six will be at x eight y zero and node number seven will be at coordinate x is 20 and y is 16 and uh, node number eight will be at uh, x 20 y 16 y uh, eight and node number will be at uh, node number nine will be at uh, x20 and y0 and uh, yes oh yes our as you can see yes our uh, joint input drawn on your and we proceed at the element property you must add the element property so we must join the element with the node uh, element number one is join is uh, the start join in number one and the end join in number two start join one end join number two and the section property I would take uh, I would assume all the element are the same section are constant so e and zero density zero density mean that I'm not I won't uh, this, I won't be considering the the self weight of the elements. Uh, otherwise, you can put the density of the element here, and the self weight will be taken into in consideration during the analysis. So this join number element number one, element number two will go from two to three, three hundred. Our member property input is complete and let's proceed. Yes, our frame already drawn. And uh, for this example, there is no join load. But uh, for demonstration purpose, I'm going to add one uh, join load to so demonstrate how we can do that. Uh, I'll add a join load at join number two. Join number two. I will add uh, a px there on the x direction. I will put uh, positive 50. Add the same join. There is no uh, join number two. Join number two. And also I join number. I join number three. I will also add a load. I join number three. Uh, for this one, I'm going to put also a uh, 30, 
I'll put 30 or oh, let's also put a moment there just for demonstration purposes I'll put f minus 15 uh, minus 14 okay let uh, there we go yes our uh, join load and let's add the member uh, the member load in this one we only got let me just put it out again uh, uh, only member three uh, member three four seven and eight are loaded uh, let's start on member three member three uh, member three and seven got the same loading member three and seven got the same loading uh, member 3 and 7 got the same loading number 4 and 8 got also the same loading uh, let's start on member 3 the uh, is minus 10 why why uh, w1 is number 10 number u2 is also minus 10 uh, this just show you that uh, it can be a uh, a variant uh, UDL so you got a possibility to add to enter a variant UDL and uh, the length of the element is it e, uh, D1 is this portion is 0 and D2 is the is to the end of the element which is the length of the element and the angle is the angle between the apply load and the axis of the element and then let's go at element 7 or element 4 element 4 will be uh, a different magnitudes a minus 20 the same length and the same angle and element number 7 or let's start element number 8 element number 8 the length of the element is 12 is not elemented this length is 12 and the magnitude is minus 20 minus 20 uh, enter and element number 7 is minus 10 minus 10 the and the length of the element is also 12 so here's your input and let's proceed Uh, yes, our load as you can see and now what we need to do we got our join load added and we need to add uh, the support yeah is that uh, so join one six and nine and add one as, as per our is a fixed support as per our this drawing is a fixed support and a fixed support here mean that the, the degree of freedom on the x direction is locked is one the same at uh, y direction and z direction this rotation is also locked so this means is a fixed uh, support and the same at join number six and the same at join number nine so there is we go yay is our yay is our um the end of our input data now we need to analyze to do so we just have to press this button analyze and the application will do the rest here we go yes our reaction so yes our reaction uh, we got a moment rx ry and the same uh, m uh, m m uh, rx ry for all the the support now we need to display the uh, other result uh, the bending moment for instance yes our bending moment yes our bending moment diagram our shear force diagram Is our shear for diagram and the joint displacement 
here's our joint displacement as you can see so our joint displacement and the axial force the axial axial force yes our axial force so yes at the end of our result and the result summary the result report so a summary of, of, uh, of our input and the final result just press this button report and then we go here we go here our join load and here's our we got no point load on the element and here's our load you see here element six and eight are loaded and element three and four are also loaded but the other i got zero so there's no um, and then this is our result the joint displacement a joint displacement and the member and force at the on in local coordinate and your reactions and uh, at the support uh, this is the end of our, our analysis thank you for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, I will put a download link uh, on the description so that you can download this application, try it, and share with your friends and so on. Thank you and see you in our next video.